You go to print a receipt and nothing. It just sits there, mocking you with its blank silence. Frustrating, right? Especially when you're running a business and keeping things flowing smoothly is key. Well, fret no more, fellow Epos Now users, because in today's video, we're tackling that pesky problem head on. How to reset your Epos Now printer and get it back to spitting out receipts like a champ. Now, there are a couple of things to consider before we dive in. First, there are two main types of Epos Now printers. Those that connect via USB and those that use Ethernet. The reset process will differ slightly depending on which one you have. Second, it's important to remember that resetting your printer will clear any custom settings you've made. So, if you've tweaked things like font size or margins, you'll need to reconfigure those after the reset. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get down to business. Resetting your EPOS Now USB printer. For this process, you'll need your printer, a computer, and the USB cable that came with it. Power up. Make sure your printer is turned on and plugged into a power outlet. Connect to your computer. Take the USB cable and connect one end to your printer and the other to a free USB port on your computer. Windows users, head here. If you're on a Windows machine, navigate to your device manager. You can usually find it by searching device manager in the Windows start menu. Find your printer in device manager. Look for the section titled printers. You should see your EPOS now printer listed there. Right click and reset. Right click on your printer's name and select uninstall device. In the confirmation window that pops up, Make sure the box next to delete the driver software for this device is checked. Click uninstall. Reboot time. Once the uninstall is complete, restart your computer. Reconnect the printer. After your computer restarts, Windows should automatically detect the EPOS Now printer and reinstall the necessary drivers. Test it out. Open any program that can print, like a web browser or a text editor, and try printing a test page. Resetting your EPOS Now Ethernet printer. This process requires accessing your printer's web configuration page. You'll need a computer or mobile device connected to the same network as your printer. Find the IP address. The first step is to locate your printer's IP address. You can usually find this on a sticker on the back of the printer itself. Open a web browser. Grab your computer or mobile device and open a web browser. Enter the IP address. In the address bar of your web browser, type in the IP address you found on the sticker. It might look something like 192.168.1.100, but this will vary depending on your network setup. Login time. You might be prompted to enter a username and password to access the web configuration page. If so, the default credentials for EPOS Now printers are usually username, admin, and password, admin though it's always a good idea to check your printer's manual for any specific instructions. Navigate to Reset. Once you're logged in, you'll need to find the Reset function. This might be located under a menu called Settings, System, or something similar. The exact wording will vary depending on your printer model. Confirm and Reboot. Locate the Reset option and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll typically need to confirm your choice, and then the printer will reboot itself. This might take a few minutes. Wait and see. Once the reboot is complete, your printer should be reset to its factory settings. Remember after resetting, no matter which method you used, after resetting your printer, you'll need to reconfigure it to work with your EPOS Now system. This usually involves setting the printer name, selecting the correct paper size, and possibly adjusting other settings depending on your specific needs. 